thanks for joining in today as some of you know that we are talking about prostate gland in this season men in the middle age like my age in the 50s and 60s do worry about prostate cancer do get symptoms of enlarged prostate as i spoke about in my last video however one thing we underestimate and don't talk about or know much about this condition called prostatitis which is inflammation of the prostate gland this is far more common than we think it actually is so today we are going to talk about this condition prostatitis there are two varieties of prostatitis one is called acute prostatitis and as the word suggests it happens suddenly and the symptoms do not last for very long provided the correct treatment is given to the patient the second condition is chronic prostatitis which happens repeatedly over several months and the patient gets recurrent symptoms over several months or even years so, so let's discuss each condition separately so first we will discuss acute prostatitis what causes acute prostatitis so any infection close to or around the prostate gland or any procedure or any interventional thing done close to or around the prostate gland can cause acute prostatitis so name a few urinary infection if there is a catheter in our urinary bladder that can put us at a risk of developing prostatitis any prostate surgery for enlarged prostate can give rise to prostatitis prostate biopsy to diagnose prostate cancer can give rise to prostatitis sexually transmitted diseases like hiv etc can give rise to prostatitis i have seen patients even with the injection of piles or injection of hemorrhoids because it's done in the bottom end which is very close to the prostate gland can give rise to severe prostatitis so what are the symptoms of acute prostatitis these patients are quite sick when they come in they have got very high fever they have got rigors they have chills they have severe pain in passing urine and the pain is usually in the penis or in the perineum as sometime also in the bottom and the lower back they have difficulty in passing urine sometime they can't pass urine at all and they go into urinary retention and can even require a catheter to help them pass urine urine might have blood in it and the pain as i said earlier is in the genitals lower back lower part of their tummy just above the pelvic bones it is a very severe pain so how is acute prostatitis diagnosed it is diagnosed from the symptoms that the patient has so a patient will have all the symptom that we talked about in my previous slide patient will have the history of having a catheter put in or prostate biopsy taken or hemorrhoid treatment done etc few days before his symptom starts very easy way of diagnosing prostatitis is doing the examination of the prostate gland through the rectum with a finger and the prostate gland is extremely tender and swollen so an ultrasound scan or an mri can confirm the diagnosis of acute prostatitis so what is the treatment for acute prostatitis main treatment is painkillers when they are in the hospital antibiotics first few days the antibiotics are given intravenously when the patients are quite ill once the symptoms improve then the antibiotics can be changed to oral antibiotics the usual course is much longer than normal course of antibiotics for other infections and usually given for about 2 to 4 weeks catheters might be required urinary catheter to pass a tube into the bladder if they are unable to pass urine some patients who do not take complete treatment for prostatitis that is they don't take antibiotics for long enough or they were not diagnosed early enough can develop an abscess in the prostate gland which may require surgery to be drained now we'll discuss chronic prostatitis so what causes chronic prostatitis in vast majority of the patients there is no history of catheterization or urinary tract infection or any intervention of the prostate gland hence the cause remains unclear in small percent of patients they might have had a previous attack of acute prostatitis which was not treated completely like 
they did not have antibiotics for long enough and that can result in chronicity of their symptoms. The symptoms of chronic prostatitis are very similar to acute prostatitis, however, much, much milder. So the patients are not very sick. They have similar symptoms of lower abdominal pain, back pain, genital pain, difficulty in passing urine, but not as bad as acute prostatitis. They can have blood in the urine. They might have more frequency of passing urine. So the symptoms are recurrent, which means they are fine for a few weeks or a few months, and then the symptoms will reoccur. And after a bit of treatment, they will settle down again. And then after a few weeks or a few months, they reoccur again. Sometimes these symptoms can last for several months or even years. So how is chronic prostatitis diagnosed? Easiest way of diagnosis is doing a rectal examination with the finger and the prostate gland feels swollen and tender. Not as bad as an acute prostatitis though. Blood tests will show signs of infection when there is a flare up. Urine tests might show signs of infection but might be completely normal. If in doubt, then a scan like an ultrasound scan or MRI or CT will be able to help make the diagnosis. What is the treatment for chronic prostatitis? The treatment is a bit more difficult because the symptoms are intermittent, they come and go. So treatment has to be given when patient actually has the symptoms. Secondly, because we don't know what causes chronic prostatitis in most patients, it is far more difficult to treat. Treatment is similar to acute prostatitis when the symptoms are there with painkillers, antibiotics and medications called alpha blockers which relax our prostate gland and helps us pass urine. So that's all you need to know about prostatitis. Acute is a serious condition whereas chronic is a quite debilitating condition lasting over a long period of time, months or even years. I hope you found this video informative and if you did then please do give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you soon. Take care.